Hey, it's Troy with Beach Bags again. We've talked about our equipment checklist. Now I want to take a couple minutes to point out some of the key features that you need to know about your beach bag system. Um, let's start out first with the fill features. The first thing you need to know about is the fill port. This is where I connect my hose so that I can fill the bag with water. It's got a cap so I can keep dirt, dust, and debris out. As you're filling here, I've got another port. It's called my vent port. Air will escape out of here. Again, it's got a nice little flap to keep dirt and debris and dust out after the bag is all full. So those are essentially my fill features. Let's talk now about the drainage features. I've got my snorkel, which is my elephant trunk, which is how I get water out of the bag really fast, but I need a way to secure that and keep it nice and tight so it doesn't leak while we're anchored. This anchor clamp or this snorkel clamp allows me to do that and it attaches via a carabiner to an attachment point here, keeps it all nice and secure. There may be some times where I can't get my anchor, my beach bag, close enough to the shoreline. We want to prevent erosion when we're out here. So if I need to extend longer, if I'm on a sand beach so I don't cause erosion when I'm draining my anchor through the snorkel, I can connect on a snorkel extender to these snorkel uh, extender hooks. It just rolls out and go. When I'm draining my bag, as the water starts to get uh, lower in the bag, um, it can get a little bit uh, more challenging to drain. And this area right here can become a little bit of a pinch point and cause some clogging. So as the bag starts to drain, I can just pull right up on this strap right here. It releases some of the pressure, lets water flow right out. One last drainage feature I wanna to talk to you about. If for some reason I don't orient my bag correctly, I've got drains in the corner of the bag on the front here and here. It'll take a little bit longer to drain through these corner drains, uh, but they're useful in a bind if for some reason you can't drain out of your snorkel. The last thing that we want to talk about are the rigging features on the bag. This is essentially how do I connect my beach bag's anchor to my houseboat. The ground sheet that's protective, we call this the bridle, and I have some features on here that secure the, uh, the houseboat to the, uh, essentially to the anchor. The anchor of the bag itself is connected via these corner straps. There's one in each of the corners here. And then I put my rigging equipment on what I call a harness loop. I've got basically a right and left side harness loop on each side of the bag, so this can be oriented any way to the boat that I want to. I have a harness line right here. I connect my harness line to my harness loop with these really strong, soft shackles. Then there's the last thing that I wanted to show you, and this is really cool. If I just had a rope, I would tie my houseboat off right here on my harness line. But if you've got tightrope, this is our game changing system for keeping your lines tight. I attach right here. Essentially, this little bad boy allows me to get my anchor lines four times tighter than I could without it. So if I could pull 100 pounds by myself, now I could pull 400 pounds. This is the easiest way to keep your lines tight. And keeping lines tight is a quick way to safety on the houseboat.